Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with. Yeah, we uh, whew. we're uh, working on getting the tenants moved in. Michael's been down on his hands and knees like me, scrubbing the floor. Take a look at that. Got my cabinets over here going in. I've got to go get my hammer and just tap it in place and put my base molding on there, wipe down the countertops, and I got to sand the wall and just touch it up just a couple places there. And um, we got to get the floors cleaned up real good. And I think the light fixture is in for Michael to change over there. And uh, they've got the leak taken care of. That was uh, temporarily at least so I could finish putting the floor down. So I got the floor down. So I'll do that, touch up my paint, clean, get all my tools out of here, and then I am done for the day. Thank goodness. I got off the wall. Huh? That's said, put the molding in the kitchen there. Um, but one thing we're gonna do though, is we're not gonna do this portion of it right here because we're gonna do the wall treatment. So this piece is gonna come out and I don't know exactly where, but. but you have the one for the. Oh yeah, we'll do all the ones in the kitchen because we've got a point up there. But anyway, here's what I want to talk about. You know, I, I, I'm an idiot, I know that. Um, make no qualms about it. I don't know much, I just uh, am a Dallas Cowboy diehard fan. And I had said a couple days ago that the Dallas Cowboys need to get Amari Cooper's deal done, um, as well as Dak, because the longer you wait on these things, the more it costs you. And here's what's happening right now. Michael Thompson is looking for about $22 million. Um, you know that uh, Julio Jones is looking for like 20. So the market is being reset at this moment. Right now, that shit is changing rapidly. So the longer you wait, just like with Dak Prescott's contract, the more it's gonna cost you. Again, I always say, the Marcus Lawrence deal, had they done it last year, would have cost them about 17, 18, instead it cost 21. Had they gotten Dak Prescott's deal done um, a couple months ago before Carson Wentz, and now they're talking about Jared Goff, you might have got it for 28. Now it might be 33, 34 um, million. So the urgency, and it's not that I'm just like, because I get people out there that keep saying, you just want to pay everybody. No, it's like, look, I'm telling you hurry up and pay him because all you idiots out there that say, oh, well, make a play on his rookie contract this year and, you know, franchise tag him the next year. Well, guess what? You can't franchise tag him because he's not. Well, no, you can't. You can no, 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 uh, I mean, you can do that, but here's the thing. The market is climbing every single month. The farther you put it down the road, when you start getting Pat Mahomes talking about a new contract, and it may be that Kansas City starts talking about that one sooner than later because they're looking at saying the price is going up. We need to hurry and get this thing done. You've got Philip Rivers out there that's going to need a new deal. you got a lot of guys that are looking to get paid. So if you don't take care of business now, hey, you pay me now or you pay me later. Either way, you're going to pay. So they need to get this shit together, get it done, get it out of the way. Because, you know, it's not that I'm saying, you know, just blow all the money. The Dallas Cowboys are loaded right now. What you want is you want your players to come in there happy, ready to rock and roll this season. That's what it's all about. It's not about trying to say, oh, well, we just want to get greedy. No, it, 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 listen, it's the market. And all you people out there that just hate them because they're about to get paid, look, you, you guys didn't hate Carson Wentz for getting paid, did you? Carson Wentz <clears throat> has yet to play in a playoff game. Yeah. He was 5-6 and six last year. Yeah. He got 34, nobody blinked an eye. They talk about Amari Cooper and Dak Prescott, it's the end of the world. I, I just can't understand this. He wants to take a pay cut. He wants to take a pay cut. Uh, yeah. Ezekiel Elliott will. Well, well, he might have here, look, look at Michael Dak. You don't usually see this guy. Enjoy this, because I don't even see this Michael down on the hands and knees. That's usually me on the right, damn floor. Because you know what? Almost every single piece of this floor that went down, the tile, he, he this linoleum, it's on me, hands and knees, and that's after being in Puerto Rico doing that floor. But you know what? I ain't mad at him because that boy works hard. He takes all of my shit, and you guys know I'm full of shit every single day and keeps coming back for more. And that's what life's all about. One other thing, too. I'm going to let you guys know. I am a changed man since Puerto Rico, man. I am grateful for everything that I have. But it's made me hungry. I mean, hungry for more. 
there's a lot of good I want to do in the world, and the only way I can do that is by being the best me that I can be and putting myself in a financial position to be able to go through and help others. That trip to Puerto Rico, I want to do that stuff, kind of, do, do that more. And there's a lot of people out there that need help, that need a good place to live. And it's going to be my mission from today till my last breath that I'm going to provide as many good homes for people out there as possible. You know, that's my new goal in life. So by hook, by crook, by busting my ass, whatever I have to do, every single day, that is going to be on my mind. So that means working hard to be a good husband. That means working hard to do the best at YouTube. That means to do the best at the Woodboard, the best at being a father to my kids, and being the best as a global citizen. And each day, every single day, before I put my head down to sleep, I've got to make sure that I took at least one step closer every single day to those goals. I want to be able to look back and say, okay, I did this for my home. I did this for my marriage. I did this for my YouTube channel. I did this to get closer to helping others. And if I haven't done all those things, then I cannot sleep. I may sound crazy. You may think it's full of crap, whatever. I don't care. But that's what I'm planning on doing with the rest of my life. What are you planning to do with yours? I'm Mark Holmes. And get Amari's deal done and that paid, please. Tune in tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, for a live stream. I'll see you guys soon.